At about 2.15 a.m., I got a text from a good buddy, Brian. All it said was, buy these now. And like a good friend, I clicked the link that followed, and I saw a listing for pellets that uh, may or may not go boom. So uh, I did what you're all going to want to do in about eight minutes. I smashed that buy now button as fast as I could. For now, it was back to bed and some crazy dreams about what Tannerite pellets could do. To be honest, I kind of forgot about them, but just a few days later, I got a package, and inside, pellets that go boom. Now, before we go any further, we all have established that I hate tree rats, more than the average human, but a humane dispatch is always my goal. So before any fur was gonna fly, I needed to do some testing, and not just on a target. I think I got just the thing for that. One of the awesome Patreons of the channel sent me a note uh, with a link a while back for some ballistic gel products. And of course, they had a squirrel one. So I bought it and I put it in a drawer for a rainy day. And although this day was a bluebird day outside, that rainy day had arrived. I wanted it to be as realistic as possible. So up you went for a little seat at the table for one, along with some peanuts for good measure, of course. I wasn't sure what to expect, to be honest with you, so I decided to tie him down. I had already cracked off a couple into the target uh, to get somewhat zeroed, and these things are loud, so I won't be dialing things in too much. But uh, good enough for government work, as my dad used to say. Well, it ignited on soft tissue, uh, and I think it actually blew up inside. Let's go have a closer look. These are 20 grain pellets by themselves, so going about 805 feet per second. So that's plenty of power in their own right for small game. But with the boom, add to the energy dump. So what I saw made me think 100% yes. The wound channel goes all the way through, so it's a clean pass through. But right within that first inch, that explosion created what looks like quite a large pocket there. So uh, this science experiment definitely gave me the confidence that the pellet was accurate enough uh, and it was producing more than 2x the energy needed for a squirrel. And I felt confident that uh, this was going to work out and be a quick little dirt nap. What I didn't know, though, how would it react with a headshot where it would immediately hit bone? Only one way to find out, guys. This first one came down a tree and I wasted no time. Honestly, all I can say was about this shot was I was completely unprepared for how loud a headshot was gonna be with these things. I was so caught off guard. I had no idea if that first shot was clean or not. So I decided to send another one into it just in case. While still pretty loud, uh, the shot to the vitals was definitely quieter. Kind of similar to the ballistic gel one, as I think the explosion was happening just inside versus uh, the headshot, it was right at the skull. So it was just so much louder. It wasn't until I got down range until I realized how destructive this pellet is. Oof, now that is quite the hole. That's a hollow point though, so I'm not sure if the boom did anything. You know what, I think we need some more testing. But while I was standing there, Man, they started barking up in the trees at me. And to be honest with you, I don't blame them. But I think it's going to be a minute for sure. So while we wait, I've got a little surprise for you. So I just bought another Leshy 2, a 250mm 5.56 or 22, and I decided to turn it into this. Meet the ultimate egg gun Leshy 2. This is a one of one custom Cerakote done in tiger stripe, which is a nod to the old school special forces of Vietnam. The coolest part, though, I'm giving this incredible custom Leshy 2 away to celebrate the launch of some new merch. If you're interested, I'll put a link near the top of the description and in the pinned comment for all the rules and the details. So thanks again for all the support over the years. Now, back to the pew pew. A little while later, this inbred finally came down. Uh, the sun peaked out a bit, so uh, this next shot helps out in our little science experiment on the added destruction of a pellet that goes boom. Uh, how does it help? Well. Every science experiment has a clear conclusion, and this one visually writes that for me. As light as your friend with scope cam, uh, and as you see, the combination of that, the tier one glass from March Optics, and the Eagle Vision scope cam, which pulls it all together in one of the highest quality scope cam footage I have ever filmed.
Okay, so that's two headshots. Uh, and for educational purposes, I'm gonna show you the net result. Uh, they have to be in black and white, so don't hate me. Uh, but still, uh, these two are brutal. But holy moly, if that's the kind of footage that you want, just wait until the end. I have one that was explosive. The next day was a bit overcast and cooler, but we still had good light. Uh, so this is where things got a little loose with accuracy. So uh, I'm not expecting these to be perfect by any means, uh, but for hunting, they need to be hitting, I don't know, like a nickel uh, at these types of yardages. I figured this out later as I was chasing zero for a bit uh, after this particular shot, but these things dirty up a barrel like you cannot believe. Either way, I got him looking with that slider, just catching the outside corner of the brain. The squirrels were playing a little game of hide and go seek for a bit, or at least this guy was, so I decided to bring out the ballistic gel squirrel again to do some comparison shooting. It wasn't two minutes later before that guy was wondering who this clear dude was sitting at the table for one. This guy was like one of those cocaine squirrels from the last video. He's just super fidgety and all over the place. Uh, but I stayed on him just waiting. After a little while, sure enough, he eventually figured out that clear thing was no big deal. Uh, and he took one last step, which would allow us to know for sure in this little science experiment of a video if this pellet was fully passing through. I'm not sure if you caught that, but that squirrel was literally smoking on the way down. On my way to retrieve it, his buddy was up there barking. Uh, we'll deal with him next. First, we need to see if that pellet passed through. One thing for sure, this pellet creates quite a bit of destruction. And, ah, look, there it is. Wow, that made it about an inch into the gel. God, there's like bone fragments and stuff all over the place. You know what? We're going to bring this thing inside and, uh... I got the perfect little tool for the job. It's my little fly fishing pliers. I don't have to cut this thing up and I can actually reuse it. I can just pull it right out. Wow, look at the expansion on this pellet. It's quite a bit in my opinion. And there's just pieces of skull. You can see a little bit of it there. It's just all over the place. Well, I guess this is what happens when a pellet goes boom. This is the one where things went south. Not the greatest shot in the world. Let's watch this one again in slow-mo. You'll see what I mean. I got lucky there because that one just caught enough of it uh, where it took it down. So, listen, this is what happened. It's pretty common for air gun barrels to get pretty dirty, uh, and your shots will start to open up a bit. Now, that's a lot of bit, what you just saw, but I typically clean a barrel uh, with pellets maybe every 300 or so shots. With slugs, maybe 60 to 100. Actually, you know what? If I'm being honest, with slugs, it's after every session because man, those things can dirty up uh, dirty up a barrel. But with these bad boys, it was like 20 to 30, and I started to sh really kind of see the things open up. So if you want to grab these, keep that in mind, uh, as they will open up a lot. But as soon as you're done cleaning things up, boom, right back to business. And honestly, shooting 20 of these in your backyard is basically <laughs> equivalent to taking 500 normal shots for your neighbors. You can get these pellets on eBay for like 20 bucks, I think they were, but the shipping is 35 or more, uh, which is nuts. But I got good news, though. I convinced Head Gun West to import these things, uh, and they should be arriving in about six weeks. So I'm going to throw a link in the description where you can sign up to be notified when they arrive. If you like shots like this, you should probably watch this video next.